Okay, we're going to do the hollow body and we talk about the progression. Get into a nice uh, hollow position. So if you're doing it from the bars or the rings, work on your lever. So you get into a cradle position right here. You're going to grab your knees, toes pointed, legs should be relaxed, upper body off the floor, abs braced. And then from here, think about pointing your leg forward, pointing your toes. And then from here, you're going to take the other leg, point it forward. Think about reaching towards your, your feet, keeping the abs braced, short, quick breath. So that's how you're going to want to breathe. And then from here, what you can do is think about taking one arm, going back, and then taking the other arm and going back. Make sure your eyes stay focused out in front on your feet, your thighs closer to your abs. Don't look up. Don't lift the chin up. Obviously, once you feel like you've lost the compression of your lower back against the floor and you feel your body starting to arch, you stop the exercise. So from here, you might only be able to do one leg at a time. And you can put one hand out in front. Also from here, if you want, you put one arm back. And think about doing opposite. So this could be one of your progressions here. The goal here is when we start in this position, we brace the abs, we create that tension, that pre-stretch tension, and it makes it easier to go into the movement. But like I said, you can do one arm at a time and one leg at a time. You might not even be, have to hold on. And trust me, you'll get a nice out workout. And remember, it's not, don't think about the rectus femora so much, you know, your thicker abs, but it's more your core, breathing from your belly, your lower uh, diaphragm. And feeling everything just bracing up from there. So much better than doing sit-ups. And those would be the progressions. And then eventually you go to a bar and then you try to do the same thing, hanging from a bar or even rings and so forth. And you'll definitely feel it in your abs.